Oh, I feel like my makeup is like too extra. Is it too extra? Hey guys, it's Kaylee and I'm sick. Sorry about my voice. My voice is weird. My makeup is bad. I look bad. Yeah. And I don't know if you could tell or not, but I am filming with a different camera today. I am filming with a Canon because my other camera, my Nikon that I always film on, it's like, it's not turning on. Like I, and I think it's just because like the, like the battery itself is dead, but I don't know how to like change the battery, which is the problem. So we're just gonna figure that out somehow, but in the meantime, filming on a Canon. But if you couldn't already tell from the title, today's video is going to be a telling scary stories video, except they're not my personal scary stories because I've asked my mom multiple times, what scary stories am I allowed to tell on YouTube? And she keeps saying, oh, you asked me at a bad time, ask again later. So I ask her again later, she says the same thing. So we're just looking some up on the interwebs and we're gonna read some to you today and my phone's about to die so let's uh just uh, plug that in now the website that i found or like yeah website thingy of stories that i found it says 12 terrifying ghost stories you shouldn't read alone so guess what i'm gonna do read it alone I just tried to snap and like high five but i was like and today i am alone so and i get scared super easily so this is gonna be fun so without further ado let's jump into the video I'm gonna get scared, I know I am, cause like literally, all my friends, okay, so all my friends are going to Bates, and they're just like, having a great time, saying that it was so much fun, I would literally, no joke, pee myself, have a panic attack and start hyperventilating, and then they target me more, and then I die a little bit more, so, that's why I can't do those kind of things. Ugh, ugh, yeah, 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 I'm scared. Like, each of these stories come with pictures. Oh wait, no, that's a lie. Oh my god, oh my god, no, I don't want to read it. I don't, I don't want to, why am I doing that? I know, one of my parents is going to come through the door and be like, Hey, Kaylee, lunch is ready. And then I'm going to, like, scream because I'm going to be scared. There's one, oh my god, oh my god, no, no. Oh my god. I don't like this. going to set up our fireplace it might possibly die i might possibly die who knows reading these what if what if it possesses me nobody will know please don't possess me would that like bother you guys too much if i like sat like this because i feel safer because my back is up against my desk then i have a window right here and then the like this space is right here that just makes me feel better like being like able to see everything instead of having my back to it like would that be okay as long as i like turn my head you know okay we got our fireplace going oh god i think we should begin the first story is called the cell phone this makes me nervous a couple of months ago my friend's cousin a single mother bought a new cell phone after a long day of work she came home placed her phone on the counter and went to watch tv her son came to her and asked if he could play with her new phone she told him not to call anyone or mess with text messages and he agreed around 11:20. She was drowsy, so she decided to tuck her son in and go to bed. She walked to his room and saw that he wasn't there. She ran over to her room to find him sleeping on her bed with the phone in his hand. I'm so scared. Okay. Teddy bear, sit next to me. Sit next to me, please. I don't like this. No, this is not okay. Okay. Relieved, she picked up her phone back up from his hand to inspect it. Browsing through it, she noticed only minor changes such as new background, banner, etc. But then she opened up her saved pictures. Oh no! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> Dying. She began deleting the pictures he had taken until only one new picture remained. When she first saw it, she was in disbelief. It was her son sleeping on her bed. Fire, warm me, warm my soul. It was her son sleeping on her bed, but the picture was taken by somebody else above him. And it showed the left half of an elderly woman's face. Okay, that one, that actually wasn't that bad. I expected that one to be worse. I mean, that one's still pretty creepy. Ghost bro. Second one. My house was built in 1904. It is a single family home. Wood frame setting on, the, on a concrete block foundation. I have been living here for about 12 years. All of, all of the weird things that my siblings and me have seen or heard in this house, this one event is my favorite. This happened to my brother. 
About 10 years ago, my brother and his best friends had started a garage band playing mostly Spanish rock alter alternative music, but in Spanish. His friends could only get together on Sunday afternoons. They would practice into the early evening, and they would usually call it quits by 8 p.m. This was the time I usually showed up and went to bed, because I worked the graveyard shift. Oh, guide, guys, guys, the ghosts are possessing my phone. Oh god, there, okay, never mind. This happened in late fall, so the days were getting shorter. They had just finished a long session when the decision to head to some to someone else's house came about. My brother handed his car keys to his buddy so they could load up the equipment. Everyone had filed out of the basement, but the tricky part was that they needed to walk all the way back to the basement, up back the stairs, through the kitchen doorway, down the hall, into the living room, and out the to and out the front porch. Everyone's outside sitting. Everyone was outside sitting in my brother's truck waiting for him. My brother was walking up the back stairs when he remembered that he had left his pancakes in a to-go container sitting on a speaker in the basement. Okay, see, that's never good. When one person goes alone down to the basement because they forgot something, now he's going to get, like, possessed or something. He made the decision to go back. Now, the basement is not clean with full sight lines. There had been partitions made? I don't know what that is. And the boiler and main heating unit are right smack in the middle. So after my brother walks back, he is about to retrieve his food container. When out of the corner of his eye, he sees it. It is a shadowy figure right at his per per peril vision. This feeling of dread and une un uneasiness washed over my brother. We have been taught that if you are in the presence of a spirit or a ghost, and you felt a bad vibe to say a quick prayer or to cuss at it. <clears throat> oh, okay. My brother chose the latter. He basically just told, okay, um, I'm not gonna read that. <clears throat> he said, hey, poop you. I don't have time for this poop. My brother started to walk to the back of the basement and briskly up the stairs, closing doors and turning off lights as he was walking out. The last light switch is on the opposite side of the door. Luckily, the door was open, and the light from the street lamp was, was flooding the living room with its amber light. My brother said he felt something at his back, but at no point did he turn around. As he flipped the last light switch, the living room went dark, as did the rest of the house. As he stepped out, he pulled on the door, closing it behind him. Still holding his food container in one hand, he jogged down the few porch steps. He walked towards our front gate. Our house resides far from the main street essentially having a large front yard but no rear garage. As he closed the gap between himself and his friend-laden truck, he kind of smiled and thought things over in his head, mad at himself for spooking out when there was no reason. He climbed into the driver's side of the truck, putting on a seatbelt and getting ready to pull out of the parking spot, directly in front of the house. When one of his friends asked, Hey, wait, what about your brother? Isn't he coming with us? My brother answered, What do you mean? He went to work early tonight. He is already gone. Do you see his car anywhere? The next question they asked, so then who was walking behind you when you were leaving the house? Yeesh. I think that's only like two out of 12, but I might not read all 12 because this is taking a while so far. Okay. <clears throat> the rocking horse. Oh boy, this one's gonna be creepy. When you know that there's a rocking horse involved, that means it's going to be creepy. One night when I was maybe 10 to 12, maybe 10 or 12, uh, it's a 10 to 12. I had trouble falling asleep. My bedroom was the entire top floor of our house with my bed and such being on the left side and storage closets and the play area being on the right. I was lying in bed when I heard a noise from the other side of the room and I see a rocking horse begin to rock. Oh crap no. Crap no. No. It was sitting just outside one of the storage closet doors. Oh my god. It proceeded to rock its way halfway across the room and stop dead under the ceiling light. At this point, I was freaking out and just buried my head under my blankets and never peeked out again until morning. It was all confirmed not to be a dream as the rocking horse was still in the middle of the room when I woke up. Furthermore, I got a stern repri reprimand from my parents being up out of bed playing with my toys while past my bedtime. Their bedroom was directly below the storage closet slash play area and had heard the creaking of the rocking horse shuffling across the room. 
That is so freaky. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if it creeped you out because like, like I just keep wanting to look behind me. That freaked me out. So don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit that like button and turn on your post notifications while you're down there doing all that other stuff. I will see you guys next time. Bye!